Hey, single Leos, who's coming in for you? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Leo singles, singles only. Who's coming in for single Leos? Who's coming in? We have air. Okay. We have Saturn. So we have Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and then we have Capricorn energy here. And then we have Taurus. Okay. So two earth signs. Yeah. The energy of earth with a little bit of air here. <clears throat> So, single Leos, strong earth sign energy, a person who is could, could be a business owner, a person who is very serious about their work, their craft, someone who believes in having stability, money, security, okay? This person may believe in having life insurance, okay? <laughs> this is a person who's very practical. They may have a set schedule every day. They may have a certain diet that they follow, very practical person, you know, they have to have a routine. They have to have things that make sense to them. When you get the energy of earth, the energy of air helps to balance this person out a little bit. So it'll help them to be a little more carefree. This person may love to laugh, to talk, to have a good time, may love to be the life of the party, may love to travel as well, okay? With the energy of air, this person may work in communications, and they may have established themselves at a very young age as well. Okay? Who's coming in for single Leos? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Let's get into the tarot side. Who's coming in for single Leo? Who's coming in for single Leos? Let's see. Chariot. Cancerian energy is here. Who's coming in for single Leo? Eight of Swords. Okay. And we have the Hangman. So who's afraid to move forward? You could be afraid to move forward with a Cancer for some of you. For others of you, it could be a Pisces. You could be afraid to move forward with a water sign. Okay. Mm. What is this? Who's coming in for a single Leo? Who's coming in? Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Five of Wands. Whoa, we pulled how many? Four. Justice, Libra's energy with the Queen of Swords with Temperance and the Death card. You could have someone waiting for you, waiting to hear from you. Okay, this could be a Libra. We did get air sign energy that came out in the descriptive cards. Yeah, this could be a Libra waiting on you, waiting to talk to you about an ending. So you could have someone from your past that is still waiting to talk to you. Could be an air sign, okay? For some of you, Capricorn's energy is at the bottom of the deck with the devil energy, the fool, the two of pentacles. Yeah. Someone wondering, yeah, when when are the two of you going to take this leap of faith? Someone could be obsessing over you, thinking about you a lot. <clears throat> Someone from your past conflicted here with the Seven of Pentacles and the Five of Wands. Five of Swords now. There could be competition involved when it comes to this person. There may be more than one person interested in you. Mm, Aquarius's energy is here. We have a lot of majors coming out. Sag, Ju Justice is... Libra, and we also have Death, Scorpio's energy, Cancer's energy is here, and now Aquarius. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Oh, oh, the cards just are falling out here. Two of Wands. Why the Two of Wands? Why did that come out? High Priestess. Could be a Pisces. Someone trying to use their intuition to make a decision here. Oh, about a Taurus for some of you. We also have the two most spiritual cards in the deck, back to back. The Harfont and the High Priestess are very spiritual cards. Two of Wands with the Lovers. Someone feels a deep connection to you, possibly like a, a past life soulmate energy toward you. It could be a Gemini for some of you. Show me that energy. Woo! all the cards all the cards show me that energy high priestess with the heart font knight of cups the four of wands yeah someone feels like the two of you should be in a relationship but the four of cups is here they may feel like you're not accepting the offer you're not accepting the cup okay 
Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, Six of Pentacles, or Six of Cups rather, with the Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Whoa, 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 whoa. Someone could be offering love, marriage, stability, a home with you. Mm. Yeah. What does this person want to say to single Leo? Six of Cups. I feel a connection. Past life soulmate energy. You're my wish, my star. It could be an Aquarius. The Three of Wands, but your back is turned. You feel distant from this person. Yeah. Why is Leo being distant from my singles? Strength card, your energy, king of pentacles with the page of cups. If this is someone from your past, you could be searching for an apology or waiting for this person to apologize or to open up with their emotions for some of you. You could be waiting for this person to tell you how they really feel about you. Okay. Yeah. That's why they feel like you're being distant. It's like you're waiting on them to make the first move or just to make their feelings known. How is single Leo feeling at this time? How does single Leo feel? The tower, kaboom, Scorpio's energy, page of pentacles, judgment. Some of you could be giving a Scorpio another chance, a second chance. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, show me how Leo is feeling. Three of Swords is here. Five of Cups. Six of Wands. Some of you are still trying to get over something that ended. Trying to get over heartbreak or betrayal with the Three of Swords, Five of Cups. Show me Leo's energy. Knight of Pentacles. Two of Cups. The Magician. What are you manifesting? Four of Swords. Oh, jeez. Again, Leo singles, I feel like you want someone to come toward you. You're not really making a move. You're manifesting the four of swords. You're not really making a move toward this person. I feel like um, you kind of want them to do it. <laughs> you want them to approach you. Okay. Whoa, what's that? Four of, of pentacles in reverse. With the king of swords in reverse. Oh. You could be trying to release an air sign. An air sign could be upset with you. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. They could be upset with you at this time. Show me. Show me. What's that king of swords reverse, please? King of swords reverse. Show me. Page of wands. We have the five of pentacles. Someone wants to tell you that they feel left out in the cold. Ace of swords. They're missing you. They want to let you know this. It could be a Virgo. Hermit is here or they've been hiding these feelings, these emotions toward you. Knight of Wands. Seven of Swords. They may feel like getting crazy to get your attention as well. Knight of Swords. Yeah. Someone may do something a bit reckless to get your attention. Yeah. Show me what else is going on with this person Towards single Leo. Six of Pentacles is here. Two of Swords. <clears throat> the World card. It's like, do you want to invest in this with me or is it over? Is it really over? I'm not sure. I don't know, single Leo. Ten of Cups. This is what this person is thinking. They want the Ten of Cups with you, but they're trying to figure out what do you want. Are you willing to invest in this or is, is it over? World card. Are you going to close out this cycle? They want to offer you the Ace of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, possibly marriage, family, being together long term, working it out, moving in together, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. Yes, they want to express emotions, want love with you. But what does single Leo want with this person? What does single Leo want? Ooh, nine of swords. Okay. Eight of wands. Nine of pentacles. You may tell this person that you just want to be single. Some of you may feel stressed out when it comes to this person. You may feel like you're better off on your own. 
Eight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. You could be more so focused on a water sign for some of you. Your energy. Yeah, some of you are happy with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Yeah, how single Leo feeling. Whoa, what was that? Six of Swords with the Ten of Cups. You could be moving on to something that makes you very happy, okay? Moving on to something that, you know, where you put your emotions first, you make yourself happy. Nine of Cups. That's more of a selfish energy of, I'm going to do what makes me happy. And I'm going to be with the person that makes me happy. It may not be you, okay? Or that person is not you. You could be telling this person that. Yeah. Why would single Leo reject this person? King of Cups. Ace of Wands. Queen of Pentacles. Possibly because they were already with someone else. They could have been with a, a water sign or they were with an earth sign. You could have found out that this person was having sex. The wand could represent sex. You could, could have found out that this person was having sex with someone else or that they were already in a relationship. Okay. So you may be separating yourself from a person that you just don't want to be with. I also feel like you could have had feelings for this person, but then it was like something changed with you. For some of you, you may have felt like this was just sex. It's like, it was just sex. It was just the ace of wands. That's all it was, you know? And I didn't want a relationship. And, and now you found someone that you can be happy with in a relationship. I, you know, just don't feel like it's this person. It's not this person. Ooh, what is happening? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's going on? Let's get some oracle messages. What's going on in this connection? We have love language is quality time. Someone wanting to spend time with you. Twin, fra <laughs> twin, fra fra twin flame recognition. This person could have seen you as a twin flame. Okay. They could feel like the two of you have a really deep connection. I believe I said that. In your reading, we got the spiritual cards. Yeah, High Priestess and Harfont. Love language affirmations. So your words may have meant a lot to this person. This person could be like replaying your conversations over and over again. Words of affirmation, okay? Disguise. It says some elements of this relationship are hidden. So there may have been something that this person was trying to disguise from you or hold back from you, like the fact that they were already in a relationship or that they have had already been sleeping with someone else. This person could have been having sex. I feel strongly with a an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Yeah, or a friend. I'm getting a friend, someone that they've known for a while. Physical touches here. They miss the physical connection between the two of you. They believe in divine timing. They could be waiting for the right time uh, to approach you and taking it step by step. We have guided steps to great love, trying to take it step, step by step or one step at a time. But Leos, look at what's at the bottom of the deck. For my singles, you are worthy of love. You are worthy. You're worthy of love. And I think I said this on your weekly reading last week. That you deserve someone who can give you love right now. Not a year from now, five years from now. Not after they get through having sex and wear out that other person and come toward you as like sloppy seconds. You deserve to have real love. Okay? So if anyone is like trying to make a decision about you and coming back to you, you know, after all this time of messing around with other people, it's time to close that cycle out. You are worthy. It's like spirit is repeating from last week what I had already told you guys. It's like you need to know that you're worth real love. Let me come to this deck. Anything that would get us to know who this person is, divine spirit, holy spirit. I was getting strong air sign for a lot of you. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit. Who is this person? Who is this person? 
January. It could be Capricorn. January could be significant. Yeah, December Sagittarius energy is here. Yeah, also at the end of December is Capricorn's energy. What else? The letter S is coming through. The letter B is coming through. September is coming through. Virgo season. October. Yeah, Libra season is here. The letter P is coming through. Saturday could be significant for someone. A Monday could be significant. And one more. And we have the letter U. The letter H is at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Any other energy coming through? Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, what's coming through for single Leos and this person, this connection? What's coming through? Move on. Okay. Caution at the bottom of the deck. Like I said, if someone is playing games and chose another person over you or they didn't let you know the full truth of their situation when they were with you or when this person first started talking to you, it's time to move on. Someone is unavailable, a waste of time, it's over is what the card says. Be cautious about how you proceed with this person, okay? Alrighty, single Leos, that is your energy. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sophia Monetero. I look forward to hearing from you. Take care. Bye.